An organization that's provided years of services for survivors of domestic violence continues to move forward. I am your Twin Falls neighborhood reporter, Lorian Nettleton, and with a new director, Voices Against Violence continues to adapt and evolve how and who they help. And because you just never know who's going to walk in through those doors and what experience they're going to have. In the five years Noemi Juarez has worked at Voices Against Violence, she's held four different positions, most recently stepping into the role as executive director, growing alongside the organization that aims to meet the changing needs of the Magic Valley. You know, our mission is to empower survivors. And so I would like to say that, you know, in 2016, I was a survivor. And so I access services through Voices Against Violence. And so I have put a lot of my personal experience on what I could have used, what my son could have used during that time into this. From its beginnings as a live-in shelter for victims of domestic violence or sexual assault, Voices Against Violence has continued to evolve and adapt. Clients are no longer housed on site. And anyone who is experiencing any kind of violence can seek assistance. They help about 200 people each month, and every year they make a list of the top seven reasons people reach out to them. And so bullying actually made that um, these last two years. It was on the seventh slot the two years ago, and then last year it was actually in the fourth slot. So that tells us that... Um, unfortunately, you know, that's happening, but the good thing is that we're getting into schools and we're providing education around bullying and so um, children, youth are speaking up more and their families are speaking up more. In May, their hotline fielded more than 900 calls for assistance, advice, and comfort. Kristen Marr said the organization's willingness to change has helped put a more human face on the service. We've really tried to create a program that is really like human-centered, um, really trying to uplift survivors. I want to make sure that whoever walks in through those doors have the same opportunities that I did, that they will leave our facility feeling empowered. If you or someone you know has experienced violence and could use some help, or if you'd like to chip in and offer some assistance of your own, we'll connect you to Voices Against Violence from our website, IdahoNews6.com. I'm your Twin Falls neighborhood reporter, Lorian Nettleton, Idaho News 6.